Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like headphones should cost as much as starting your own goose farm, geese farm, by male and female, and then you make more geese. And these don't. What are they? They're the Grado SR80Es. Ooh, look at them. Okay. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Grado. SR80Es. Today's sponsor is Long Sally Solder. Solder. It's real good. When you want to choose your the best solder available, choose Long Solder Sally. Sally Solder. I messed it up. All right, Grado SR80Es. Uh, let's see if it. Okay, there. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's turn that one around. Mm-hmm. Let's turn this one around. Mm-hmm. They're currently discontinued. Why am I doing a review on them? Because they're awful similar. From what I've read to the SR80X, I guess that's the new one. Anyway, they're about 100 bucks. I think the new one's maybe 130 So, these are the headphones that I hate to love. And... I didn't like them when I first got them, but I got them as a birthday present from one of my patrons and one of big supporter of the channel from the very beginning. So obviously he heard something in them, so I was going to stick with them. However, when I opened the box, I was underwhelmed with the build quality. They creak. This is, it, it, they literally just feel like a cheap, toy like not even a cheap good toy like it like the plastic right here is kind of like shiny plastic that feels like it's really brittle um that if you bend it at all you get like one of those little white marks in there the cords are permanently affixed to each ear cup uh the metal feels metal actually feels pretty good there's a a rubber stopper on the top so you don't stab yourself with the metal the band is very thin again plasticky rubber and there feels like there's maybe a piece of metal inside and then the there's foam all right feels like it's gonna wear out in about three days the rest of the cord goes into this uh, V looking thing uh, doesn't always lay right uh, terminates to a 3.5 millimeter jack which incidentally my first pair that I got the 3.5 like shorted out so just just like when I was growing up I literally had to put like lean a book against it so it would press it, press it down just right but when I sent them to Grado on warranty they repaired them came back and guess what these work just fine so why do I hate to love these because after initially i thought they were shrill thought they had no base very bright on top lots of detail nothing no lower mid-range no base but i kept listening to them and then the base opened up either they burned in or my brain burned in either way when i first listened to these they didn't have base when i listened to them later miraculously they had base it wasn't like super extended like on intergalactic by beastie boys it's it stops short i think it falls off highway to hell by acdc feels like there's a little thickness maybe around 80 to 100 hertz feels like it's bumped up a little bit there which is fine i like that not super extended but i was just happy that there was some bass there female vocals are great hello by adele her voice is wonderful lots of detail the standout to these is probably the top end tons of detail tons of space another thing i love about these headphones is how open they are and they don't cover your ear they sit on your ear and i didn't know how i was going to feel about that but the clamp force isn't very bad and if you shake your head oh sorry oh my goodness i got caught on the microphone if you shake your head hard enough the headphones are falling off okay so don't sh don't shake your head very hard when you're wearing them anyway with these being so open i find these are perfect for when i'm doing 
one of my podcasts um, because I can hear my voice. And then I don't talk really loud. And I don't have to do like the whole microphone feedback thing and hear myself perfectly. I, I can just talk. And then I can hear myself a little bit. Also, when I'm hanging out with the kids and I want to listen to some music or maybe listen to a DAC or whatever it is, I put these on. And then if there's any <clears throat> craziness going on with the children, um, I can hear it going on. Now, is that great for detail? No, of course not. Because you have a lot of ambient noise, background noise. I love them. And I, I, I hate to love them. Soundstage, extraordinarily wide. Sound is very detailed. Scooped out, I bet. Uh, these feel V-shaped. Feel. These sound V-shaped. Okay, but I like that. I don't mind that at all. It's a uh, uh, rock and roll. I, I don't agree with that. It's, it's fine. It's a little bit of a V-shape. But voices seem a bit further back, but they're still clear and awesome. So the intro, when I talked about starting a, a goose farm, true story. I'm sitting at lunch today at my real job with uh, some customers, well, potential customers. Anyway, I'm talking to the guys. This is out in rural Texas. I'm talking to one of the guys, and he was talking about when we had the crazy cold snap in Texas. He had to move. He was like, yeah, I had to move the chickens and the, the turkeys and the geese into the shop so they didn't freeze to death. And I was like, okay. Now, what do you do with the geese? He goes, well, we eat them. <laughs> I was shocked. I didn't know. I didn't know you eat geese. I thought they were just at parks and stuff, chased around kids. But no, apparently you can eat geese, and apparently they taste like turkey, but better. <laughs> Who knew? I've never eaten a goose. I've never been to a store where you can even buy goose meat. Anyway, that's where that comes from. True story. Generally, when someone says true story, it's not a true story. But in this case, it's definitely a true story because I was I got instantly interested, like really laser focus interested in that conversation when he started talking about eating geese. Anyway, this headphone is, in my opinion, not built very well. Like, for the same price, now these are closed back, you can get the AKG, when are they? AKG K361, not, that's not a horrible naming structure at all, AKG K361. Anyway, so significantly heavier, better ear pads, uh, way better built yes that has this has a lot of plastic on it but these feel like they're going to last longer than this now with all that said i've talked to uh, people that have owned grados for a long time and they've held up over the years grados great company from what i know for i talked to like steve gutenberg and they like grado grados over in new york and when i got these back on warranty it was literally like a handwritten invoice like old school so i appreciate that these, I'll put it to you this way, these feel like a $15 headphone. These sound like a two or $300 headphone. So do I recommend these, these headphones? Reluctantly, yes, I do recommend them. Their sound is awesome. They are so compelling and alive and fun, fun. These are a fun headphone that I'm going to get like the, the better ear pads and everything like uh, Josh Valor and DM, Doug over at DMS talk, talks about like getting there's thicker ear cup pads things that you can get to make them even better. I'm, I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in on the Grado uh, toy headphones. And they're kind of cool. I actually, I think they're cool looking. These look kind of like, I don't know, someone manning a a sonar station in World War II. I feel like they would be wearing something like that looks like this. Maybe built like this. I'm sure back then in World War II they were probably built better. Anyway, sonar station. Probably something like this. Grado. SR80Es. Not available anymore. Great, great review, Randy. Yes, I know. SR80Xs, I think, are available now. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon patreon.com slash cheap audio man every sunday night we have patron only zooms we also have a patron only facebook group you can also sign up for amazon music all tracks are cd quality or better so if you're into high res you want to hear the difference between high res and no res and regular res 
then uh, check out Amazon Music HD for free. I think you get three months for free, and now you get some Disney Plus for free. I don't know how you get into that. Also, you can use the link, links in the description. I'm gonna link these. I think there's a couple left on Amazon, and then I'm gonna link the link, the SR80Xs, if you wanna uh, take a stab at those. Amazon, you don't like them, return them. But listen to them for a while because they did open up for me. I quite like them. By the way, I listened to these through the Helm Bolt DAC on a variety of products, including my Android phone, my Android tablet, uh, laptop, and then my desktop computer. Listen to them also through the High Diz S90 Pro, I believe. It's also a dongle DAC. These are also pretty efficient, so they don't need a, a ton of power. Anyway, don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot Homes for Our Troops. So we're doing a raffle. CSS Audio reached out to me and we're doing a raffle. You can win a free pair Crichton 1TDs as well as a bunch of amps, DACs, IEMs, a whole bunch of stuff put up by myself and my patrons, my viewers. So you can enter to win. So there's a link in the description. Click on the link. It goes to the Homes for Our Troops homepage. You can uh, donate. You can donate anonymously if you want to. You'll still be entered. I'll see your information. You'll still be entered and then you can maybe win some stuff. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu or HBO. Uh, binge listen through your new Grado SR80Es or Xs and fill your soul with happiness. With that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.